Hey guys, this is Friends, and today I'm excited to share you my quick unboxing of this new M1 Mac Mini, the 16 gig version. So I'm not going to explain the full details and specs of this Mac Mini since there are lots of good videos out there explaining those things and you can just browse the Apple website. But I'm going to share my experience from starting from buying this online through their Apple store and to why I decided to go with this M1 Mac Mini instead of a MacBook Pro. So I bought this on their official Apple store online because only the base models are available on physical stores like Power Mac and other authorized shops. So I experienced no issues or no any hassles upon ordering the unit to checking out but take note that no installments available when you buy online but they accept any major credit or debit cards. So for the shipping coming from Singapore or China, it's either of the two, um, it took one week earlier than I expected. So Singapore to China, Singapore or China to here in the Philippines. So the receipt stated there that I should receive it on April 30, but I received it earlier, which is on the 23rd, uh, that's last Friday or Saturday. So, uh, I receive it through their courier, which is DHL. So, two things that I didn't like and noticed. So, it only comes with a thick plastic bag and then the box with no any bubble wrap to protect the unit. And also, I, no I also noticed that upon unboxing or upon um, checking inside of it, the Mac Mini was warm. So for sure, it's because of the way they handle the, the unit or the package and maybe the truck is not air conditioned. So those are the things that they should consider when, when delivering a package coming from international or coming from Manila to here in the province. So to avoid any issues, especially those high-end gadgets. But yeah, so glad that there are no any damages or issues upon checking the unit which you can see there. <laughs> so inside the box are of course the M1 Mac mini unit with the 16 gig of RAM and 256 gig of storage. So we have here some papers, the manuals, and of course the popular Apple sticker. And lastly, the power cord. And that's it. So at the back, you can see the on and off switch and the LAN port. So the two Thunderbolt, the HDMI 2.0, the USB-A, and the headphone jack. Okay, so now I'm sitting here making myself comfortable speaking to you guys to my verdict of why I chose this 
M1 Mac Mini um, instead of a MacBook Pro. So the obvious reason is that I need an upgrade from my previous uh, machine or computer which is the iMac 2017, the 4K Retina display which runs on an 8GB of RAM and a 1TB HDD and I just um, included the portable 500GB STD which the link is above here so you can check how I upgraded it to make it faster. So I needed a more powerful machine or computer to handle several tasks or apps simultaneously working on different apps like graphics or web design, um, prototyping, and of course I'm also starting to create 3D with animation using Spline which is I'm going to share with you guys soon some speed art and maybe tutorials on how to create some 3D animation but you can also check on my Instagram some of my speed art, art speed art there and of course video editing so buying this M1 Mac mini is my best decision so far but to be honest guys I'm actually mo I'm actually into M1 MacBook Pro at first before deciding to get this Mac Mini. But I I'm just here working at home. I'm not traveling and it's cheaper. So that's it for now. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And of course, consider subscribing to my channel for more upcoming videos. And if you're on Instagram, you can follow me there as well at Franz Esco Designs. So see you in the next one. Bye.